Hello, hope everybody's doing well. So I'm at the shop getting some Cloudbuster chassis made. So this is the part that takes the longest. This is the saw cut material. So it starts out like this, let me show you. Right here I buy 12 foot sections of all the different size material I need. And then I saw cut them on this bandsaw right over there. That's the most time consuming part because each chassis uses a few different components. So there's like two side plates, four shock towers, one cradle, a front and a rear shock tower support plus a battery box. So like this piece right here would be that. These right here are a battery box. It's pretty cool to think of an idea, design it, and then go from a block of metal to an actual finished part. And then this right here are these end pieces. So it's pretty cool, the website's up, but I'm gonna do a video later on on that because I wanna get a bunch more of these made. So when I first posted pictures on Facebook, a lot of people messaged me on these and they wanted to do a waiting list. And I didn't wanna do a waiting list, I was too much to keep track of stuff like that and I didn't wanna forget about somebody. So I told them once the website's up, I'll post a link and they sold immediately. So. I'm gonna get a bunch more made and then put them on and then I'll show you guys the website and all that. But all this work, I realized it's been a while since I took an RC for a ride and I was looking at this Creighton right here. So I bought this thing and the servo was bad out of the box. So I changed the servo, but I never took it for a ride. So I think I'll take a break from work for a little while. And I, I've been moving right along. Just some also here's the webless cradle. That thing's cool. That's what it looks like off the truck. So I figured I'd take a break and just Take an RC for a ride. But I figure first I'll give you a shop update. A couple people ask, you know, how all the projects are going. So right here, that's the big 12S truck. I didn't give up on this thing. It's I don't want to say it's on the back burner, but in a way it kind of is, just because this project right here is kind of taking priority right now because there's just so much more of a demand for it. So I will get this finished soon. The holdup is the axles. So those are the steel axles I fabricated a while ago, but I'm making the new ones out of aluminum, but I'm still learning how to program fourth axis. What I mean by that, if you take a look at the CNC right here, this is a rotary right here. It's a mess of chips, I've been running this thing like crazy, making tons of parts. But you would take this vise off, put another one on here, it holds the part and it can kind of make a round part and get all different size. So that's where I'm making the housings on. It's just a little learning curve programming it, but I'm getting there. I just don't want to put them out to the exactly how I want them. So the 59.4, this thing's awesome. I switched it to EFI, multi-port EFI. I'll show you real quick. That's oh, heavy hood. So there's a throttle body, but there's also eight separate injectors. This is how the HP ECU. Then on the inside, I put a Pro Dash. It's 12.3 Holly Pro Dash. That thing's awesome. But yeah, this thing's been running great. Okay, monster truck. So if you look, it's on jacks right now because right now it's part for the winter, kind of off season. So what I'm doing is rebuilding the shocks. I don't really have to, but the last one of the last shows, I jumped this thing pretty high and it landed hard in this corner and it started kind of not sitting level. So sway bar was a little tweaked. I can just adjust that, but I noticed on this side, the nitrogen goes in here. Somehow nitrogen made its way through the oil and collected up here because when I opened this bleeder screw, nitrogen came out and then it started sitting level. So I gotta see what's going on there. So I got spare shocks, but I'm just gonna take these apart, service them. But other than that, it's running good. Another thing though, I'm gonna change this ignition because I'm running an MSD Magneto setup and it just keeps going through boxes and they're like $900 a piece. So, and it's also not reliable. So it's just, Magnetos are such old technology. I don't see the point in running one nowadays. There's so much better options out there. So I'm gonna upgrade that. 69 Roadrunner. One day I'll get around to doing a lot more with this, but it's really busy. So anyway, 
Now I'll put some batteries in this guy and take it for a spin.